bro has the cat pack mirror selfie and on top of that bro is in the elevator and then the cat double cheeked up to end it off this is a good ender i think this one's like a nine it's 2023 ai is about to be taken over soon robots are going to be stealing all the work thus i predict a steadfast decline in jobs but there's one thing the ai can take over having a fire instagram name one robot that has a fire instagram that's what i thought the reality is that nowadays having a good instagram can be more valuable than a degree just talk to any of the OnlyFans girls. They're making millions of dollars just for posting bikini pictures and having an aesthetic feed. That being said, how do you have an aesthetic feed? How do you get a good Instagram? It all starts with the photo dump. Everyone knows about the classic photo dump, the essential post for all Instagrammers. You can't go wrong with this one. It's simple, it's tasteful, you're not trying too hard, it's not obnoxious, you can go from having a boring page to boom, dropping that spring photo dump, then all of the OMG you ate slay girl comments are gonna start flooding in. It's that easy. But is it though? It's all fun and games, so you get to the part where you have to choose the pictures, choose the order, the, the caption. Do I put a meme at the end of it? Huh? There's actually a lot to take into consideration with this one. But starting off with the actual photos, there's not really any rules for this one. You can pretty much just go with anything and you'll be fine. But I'd say currently that the most prominent options are pic of your friends, mirror selfie, fit pic, a nice view, a banging sunset pic, maybe some, some film pics, some Polaroid pics. Or you can do a separate post that's just for film and Polaroid pics. That's also a good option too. Food, a concert, maybe a funny photo. You can literally do anything here. It's a dump. But then once you've chosen the pictures, you gotta take into aspect of the order. The order doesn't really matter the most, but I feel like it can add like, like a little hint of spice here and there. It's like a story. You can organize it by color. You got the, the light, brighter type of photos in the front. As you get through it, as you're going through the journey, you reach the darker photos. You can alternate it between a view and pics of people and different things, but there's one major rule for this one that I feel like I have to go over. If you are going to put a funny meme type of photo in it, it must be either the first or the last picture. Usually I'd say it works better as the last one. All right, for the caption, this one is the most simple, but yeah, I feel like people always find it the most challenging. For this one, there's definitely a few unwritten rules that if you follow, you can't go wrong. The 10 commandments of captions, if you will, except it's only going to be like five. First off, I just like to get it out of the way. Having no caption is better than having a bad caption. Number one, don't be that guy who uses song lyrics. Shut up, bitch. It's 2023, bro. You can do better than that. Don't make your caption too long. No one is going to read it. Putting emojis is allowed, but any more than one or two, and you're going to be sentenced to the dungeon. And lastly, probably the most important rule. Never write, live, laugh, love, live in my best life. <laughs> you know I had to double it. Shut up, bitch. I mean, you can, but like, no one really cares that you're living your best life. No one's gonna be scrolling. Hey, hey, Jessica's living her best life. I'm so proud of her. Oh, she's like me and you ate. It's giving queen energy. Really, nigga? All right, now for all my visual learners out there, I've decided to just scroll randomly on Instagram, see what I come up on, and we're gonna be rating and analyzing the photo dumps. You guys gotta understand that crafting photo dumps is an art form. We're, we're diving deep into this, all right? So the first up, we got this guy, Watch You Die. The nice nice pick of a view, his car, his fit. It's a bright photo. People are gonna click on this one. Second pick, the recent cops, the shoes, the shirts. I don't know if you guys can tell right here. This is a high level play right here. He got the red, the red accent from the car. Boom, shoelace. Shoelace, shirt, the colors are transitioning smoothly. That's what we like to see. Bro melodically thought it out. All right, boom, the mirror selfie fit pick. I'm not gonna lie, this fit is kind of hard. It all kind of goes together, I'm not gonna lie. And then the red accent transitioning again with the shirt. I'm not gonna lie, personally, personally just me, I wouldn't have put two car picks back to back. 
but hey, he made it work. And then the meme pick, the funny pick, there you go. Bro knows he's gotta put it at the end. Bro has the format going. The life update caption, two emojis. This man knows what he's doing right here. This is what we like to see. W, w photo dump. All right, next up we got this guy I've seen on TikTok a little bit. His name's Jimmy. All right, let's get into it. Fit pick top down, solid, solid fit. The colors are, are flowing smoothly. Little, he's going on his day. He's out shopping. Boom, quick pick of, of a nice store. Okay, little lifestyle shot right here. This pick right here, you can't really go wrong with this one. It's not like the craziest pick. It's kind of just like a filler. This is a filler type pick. You just need something to transition into the next one. There's nothing wrong with this type of pick. You got the Eiffel Tower in the background. You got the, the, the nice sky, the glowing lights, the fit. He's got the hat going. He's got the caption too hot in Paris. Something light, just a little lifestyle type of photo dump. I mess with it. I mess with it. I'll just give this one like a like a seven the picks are kind of kind of more so filler type picks but but i like it going back to this one i forgot to rate it i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give this one an eight because he has like more diversity in the picks the meme pick isn't annoying and then his two car picks back to back aren't really doing it for me so that's why it's just an eight next up we got this guy his name is jelly allen Starting off strong, we got a fire pick. The city lights are going. I like this one a lot. The colors, the salmon jacket with the green pants, it, it flows pretty smoothly. On top of that, bro has the cat pack. Mirror selfie, and on top of that, bro is in the elevator. This one is crazy. All right, a backside city lights eight ball type of fit pick. I like this one. Selfie mode, he's flexing the fit. This is a solid fit. The, all the pieces look very clean. I like the shoes. Oh, one thing I, I do want to point out is it's okay to sprinkle in some videos here and there. Don't make the video crazy long. I'd say 10 seconds max. Too long and it's like, all right, bro, we get it. This one's just simple. Checkered beanie. He's letting people know he's a true intellectual. Happy, happy Friday caption. You can't hate on it, but it's not crazy. This photo dump is probably another eight the cat pack elevator pick is crazy i like this one a lot he has a filler here and then like a semi filler here the, bu the book one is fine I this is an eight i pulled up another photo dump right here to compare we got the casual sitting on the bike type of pick most of the time though i think if you're gonna do a bike type of photo you're gonna want to do it on the move you know it's okay if it's a little blurry there it's the aesthetic I like this one a lot. He's the scarf goes crazy here. He's got his drawing. This one's casual. I, I think it's on the more so of the filler side, but mirror selfie fit pick again. A little less filler, but yeah. And then the cat double cheeked up to end it off. This is a good ender. The caption game here, I know I said two emojis max. It's a little different if it's just the emojis for the caption. And then he put each emoji for each picture. So I think it, I think it works. This one, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this one a seven. I like the second pick a lot with the scarf. I like the cat pick. The rest are like just decent, I guess. The next one, we got this guy named Tyler. I found him scrolling on some fit Instagram page. Uh, let's get into it. First pick, apartment buildings in the background. I like this one a little more than the first one, this pick. Not, not cause it's his, not, what do you mean by that? We fucking got him. <laughs> I think the colors work better here. Why is bro's eyes like that? This is a decent pick. This is okay. This is okay. The pizza. I like the pizza here. The colors are going crazy. The ender's okay. I like the, the, the little blurriness, the motion blur we got going on. Let's check the caption game. I've had my chapstick for several weeks now and I haven't lost it. I feel accomplished. Why is that relatable though? What's the longest amount of time you guys have had chapstick for? I feel like you you never have it till it's completely used up. Somehow it always gets lost. You always accidentally leave it in your pants and you wash it. Let me know in the comments below, what's the longest you guys have had your chapsticks for? This one is also a seven, I think. It's equally as good as the other one. This photo is good. The cat photo is, is okay. 
Th this photo is kind of mid. Pizza pick. I like the pizza pick. And then this one is, uh, it's a, it's a decent ender. Yeah, I'd say it's like a seven. I hope that clarifies the photo dumps for you guys. It's, oh, I have a genius idea. Let's, let's cover my photo dump. Let me know in the comments below what you guys rate my photo dump. First pick, this is a pick of my friend. I don't, this was like really funny for us for no reason. Cause he normally doesn't look like this. He normally has longer hair and doesn't wear glasses. This one right here, it was a car crash a year as I'm filming this a year and two days ago. Right here, this is my girlfriend and we were just ice skating. A pick in, in a museum. The fit, it's calm. I like the pants. The, the, the puffer is all right. The sweater I'm wearing under it is a lot better. We got the Laguna Beach sunset type of pick. This is Cabo. Some of my friends right here, I like the colors and we we're at this emo show. Was, the orange swing looked crazy with the black. The, I went to a weekend k concert. I think it flows pretty well. All right, then we got the caption game right here, 22 Dumpy. Just a photo dump of 2022. For the rating, I might be a little biased right here, but I think this one's like a nine. Let me know what you guys think. It's, it's truly an underrated art form. I'm editing this and I just realized I never talked about bad photo dumps. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on it, but I at least wanted to say something. If you're a girl, stop doing the car selfie type of posts where you have like five of the same pictures. They're all selfies of you in the car. Something like this. Stop doing this. Because these are all basically the same photo. No one really needs to see this. And especially do not put filters on it. Uh, for guys, I w they don't really do this. But I guess the less bad um, guy type of version of this would be posting like awkward art museum pics. Like... A few art museum pics here or there are fine, but if you have like like five, six slides of, of you and the art in the background, and then it's just like the same picture or no one's really looking, no one really cares that much. Um, I also want to say I really liked making this video, kind of analyzing photo dumps. I think it'd be kind of fun to do it again. So let me know if you guys enjoyed. And if you want, follow me on Instagram and send me your photo dumps. And if I get enough, maybe I'll make a video ranking your guys' photo dumps. I think that'd be pretty sick. If you're someone like me who only posts on Instagram maybe once a year, but wants to start posting, don't worry about it too much. That's the entire point of the photo dump. Don't think, just dump. Take as many dumps as you can. It'll make you feel better. You don't have to stress about what to post. Just sit down on your phone and dump. Stop overthinking life. Just do what you want and take as many dumps as you can. The end.